what's up guys in this video i want to show you how you can create a working pioneer account here in nigeria this year 2022 so in case you don't know what pioneer is it's a payment platform like paypal that allows you to collect payment from your foreign clients buy things online and the best part is with a Payoneer account, you can walk into your bank and withdraw your money. Payoneer is widely accepted. As a freelancer, you can collect your payment through Payoneer, even on Google AdSense page through Payoneer. So with a Payoneer account, you can do all of your online transactions. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create an account from the comfort of your home. Show you everything step by step, the documents you need, and even how you can make $25 creating an account. Yes. So, so before we dive straight in, I want you to do something very quickly for me. Just give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time being here, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it so you get updated on my upcoming videos. Let's dive in. How to create a Payoneer account. Payoneer is a payment gateway that allows you to receive payment from different parts of the world. If for any reason you don't want to create a PayPal account or you created one and it's not working for you, a great option is Payoneer. If you look at this, it says the world's go to partner for digital e-commerce. So here are different platforms that can pay you via Payoneer. Fiverr, Upwork, Amazon, Google. Creating a Payoneer account is easy and you can withdraw your money in your local currency. Yes, you can withdraw your money from your local bank. So people can actually pay you over there. You convert the payment to your local currency and then with your ATM card, you withdraw your money. I'm going to show you exactly how to sign up. So let's go. To sign up, all you need is click on this link. And the one contained in the description of this video, you can also see the link in the first comment of the video. So when you click on the link, it's going to bring you to this place. Now, if you sign up with this link, you are going to be paid $25 and I myself will be paid $25 once you start collecting payment with your Payoneer account. So once you click on the link, it's going to bring you to this page. All you need to do is come over here and click on register. So when you open it, they say, let's find the right account for you. Now you are going to come over here and select the kind of account you want to create. I'm going to walk you through all of them. The first one is freelancer or SMB. And the next one is online seller. You have affiliate marketer, vacation rental host, and individuals. You can choose any of these ones, but don't use individual because you're going to find it easy linking your account if you create account as an individual. So I would go with freelancer. Here are businesses that can pay you through Payoneer. That's to tell you that it's a world recognized payment gateway. Once you come over, he says, what exactly are you looking to do? get paid by international client or freelance marketplace so you click on this and it opens for us to start the application say the right account for you is freelancers agencies or service providers getting paid by client or marketplace it says get paid by leading marketplaces including upwork fiverr getting image and more get paid by your global client so anybody can pay you anywhere they are in the world withdraw your earnings to your local bank account at low rates and then finally withdraw funds at atms pay your suppliers and subcontractors for free once you go through all of this come over here and click on this button that says register here we are about to start application leave this at individual so you're going to supply all the information contained here whatever name you're going to put in here should appear just the way it appears on your ID card and on your bank details. Don't mix things up so Payoneer will not have issues with you along the way. A lot of people that have issues after they created the account is because they mixed it up. If the name here does not tally with what is in your ID card and in your bank details, you would find it difficult receiving your payment once you start getting paid by your clients. So you want to come over here and supply the name just the way it is in your official document. If you look at this, it says, first name used in your government issued id written in english character so you're going to come here put the name as it is on your document after you supply the name you put your email address and then re-enter email address then you go on and put your date of birth so i'm going to go on now and supply the details so once you're done filling in the details click on next so over here you are required to supply the details which is your country your street town and postal code in case you don't know what your zip code is go on google and type zip code of my city just put the name of your city and google is going to show you what your zip code is so i'm going to supply the information here then you come down here and put your phone number when you are done supplying the information, come over here and click on send code and a code will be sent to your phone that you will use for the verification. So I'm going to click on send code. 
So my verification code sent to me almost immediately. I'm going to key it in. So put in the verification code that's sent to you. In case you do not receive it, after some minutes, you can click on resend for them to send it back again to you. But in my case, it came through. So I'm going to click on next to move to this. It's going to bring us to the next stage, which is where you're going to put your security details. Once you are here, all you need is to supply the remaining details, which is your password, re-enter password, security question. This security question is actually what is going to be used to unblock your account in case something happens and you cannot access your account. If you're able to supply the correct answers to the security questions, your account will be released back to you. The next is your ID details. So you can use your national ID, driving license or passport. I'm going to use my national ID for the verification. So then once you're done supplying the ID number, go on and type this code in this space provided. Once you're done typing the code, click on next. So it brings us to the last stage, which would be to add your bank details. Now you're going to select the currency here. So over here, you select the currency you want to end from. So if you need more guide on how to do the bank registration, you can click on this link that says click here for bank account registration guide you come over here and put your bank name i'm going to select the bank i want to use so i'm going to use first bank and your name is already showing there then you put your account number and then we scroll down now down here you are meant to select i agree to terms and conditions check this box and then this one too then you click on submit so it says here congratulations your pioneer account application has been submitted successfully and is now being reviewed if you want a Payoneer card, you can also click here to learn how you can get the card. Now, you are now in step two of the application process. So, we've finished the first step. The second one is review. So, the review is in process. You will receive an email confirmation within the next several business days. So, while you wait for the verification for your account to be approved, you want to come over to your mailbox, the email you use in creating the account, and verify your email address. So, open the mail that was sent to you for verification. Thank you for applying for Payoneer account. To help us confirm it's you, please verify your email address. So click on this button that says verify email and that's going to be done. In a few days, once they are done with this process and it's approved, you are going to receive an email too that tells you that your account is successful. You go on and you start using your Payoneer account to receive payment. I hope you got value from this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not. See you in my next video. Bye.